peace guys i want to it's meek and to meekly solely living i am um, i want to talk about cycles cycles are good for a foundation for a tradition for rituals but never for evolution evolution has a point that it must break through cycles are like circles there's nothing wrong with routine cycles those are a natural part of life the problem with cycles and humans is that and I, I'm not going to say even humans mammals that don't fully use their intellect or consciousness cycles are dangerous you can't get out of fight or flight mode you can't get out of worry how do you change that you break that cycle. You have to break it some kind of way. It's like breaking a chain, a stronghold, breaking a pattern that never got my family or my friends or anyone I know anywhere. So why would it get me anywhere? Try something different. Be the change maker. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's actually very beautiful to be able to use your creative imagination to take time out to yourself, plant your roots, and grow. That's a beautiful place to be. Don't be scared of that. You will blossom into someone totally new. No one around you will recognize you. understand that if you truly are tired and have gotten tired of the ways that people are being around you it's time for you to be that change maker to break that cycle a lot of childhood trauma has been coming up this week for me my inner child being triggered and i'm just learning to go with the flow with the moment get through it because so much unhealed is coming For me, out. Being an empath, it's I. And growing up in the household that I grew up in, um, I learned to to care too much about the most dysfunctional person in the room, and that made me dysfunctional. That slowed up my own functions in my body, being filled with anxiety and worry about what someone thinks, what someone feels, what's going to be someone's reaction of me just being myself. And that's not fair. That's not fair for anyone to have to live like that. What do you do? You keep growing. When it's all chaotic, you get silent and listen to what's going on within. See where you have to grow. See where you're insecure, where you have fear and doubt. And it could just be in the mind. Because there was a veil. The veil. It has to be lifted. I was blind. But now I see. I see who I am meant to be. I take my growth one day at a time. 
May I go God's feet? May you go God's feet? I'll tell y'all this. Don't live in fear of judgment because that will make you go down. I think that the devil is that fear, that fear of judgment and all of that. You know, um, I don't listen to anything people say about me, but those that I love and, you know, even people you love will hurt you in moments of anger. But we all get angry. We all have hurt someone. Have you asked God for forgiveness? Have you apologized to that person? Even if you just send it out into the universe, like, I didn't mean for us to go through that, you know? I release you. I release all feelings. I send you love. I send you peace on your journey in life. Amen, Ra. Release it. Release it out your heart. Release your wiggle. <laughs> every day, in every way, I am getting better and better. I am safe. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am whole. I am loved. I am financially secure. I am using my creative abilities to I live know right my now best it's life. Like a crazy time, like I'm transitioning from working every day, <laughs> multiple clients, to going online, teaching, and sharing myself because it's just the time. I've done my time, and God has led me to be still for the moment, and pause and see where I am thank God <laughs> I was smart enough to invest and save up but I am in for sure need of an investor God right now <laughs> sing your angels a manager something I'm trying to get in a studio I want to work. I'm going to work. Send me acting gigs, God. I'm just putting my request out into the universe. Allow me to complete these projects swiftly, Lord. Just like that. You can start by breaking cycles by staying hydrated more, eating better. Realizing we need to educate ourselves. Also, being kinder to ourselves. That's something that we haven't learned in our community, but others have, and that's how they get ahead. They be kind to themselves. They show themselves grace. You know, and the family does also. They put so much belief and hope behind them and so many of us are having to nurture and reparent ourselves to that and it's okay because we're here we're arri we've arrived and we are understanding of these things and that's the beauty in it um some cycles the moon has cycles water has cycles we need to be eating certain foods on cycle we need to be waking up on a cycle and getting our day going on a cycle but these things are for efficiency and advancement of the human as a whole this is what keeps us going um, Definitely tapping into body work, tapping into exercising, breath work, music, your um, natural creative abilities, painting, draw, write, journal, anything. 
think about leaving a, a diary to those coming behind you. Just sit with yourself sometimes and do nothing. I am safe. I am safe. God and the universe is working behind the scenes at all times to conspire with me and activate me whole into my evolution. This is just a part of the process. It's all a part of the process. Think of where you are. Say, I'm processing. I feel so good for who you've become. I truly contribute my evolution and advancement to body work, to grounding myself, staying focused and aligned on the path. Body work, it just, it truly healed me. It has released trauma inside of my body that was locked in. We have trauma in here. We have mental trauma. We have trauma in here, throat trauma, all in our face. We have trauma. I work I work everywhere on the body except for the genitals. Body work is needed. Touch is needed. So many of us have been neglected, unprotected, abandoned. <laughs> we still be the strongest ones out here. But we still need healing. And healing is a self-discovery thing. You heal into new. You heal into an evolved version of yourself. More understanding. I get it. And when you heal, you're not blaming nobody no more. You're like, what happened? I still hurt for that child. For the things that still hurt for that child. But as an adult, you're like, it made me who I am. I have a story that I'm able to share with others. I, I'm free. I'm still happy no matter what happened to me, what happened to my people. We still have life in us. We're happy going and growing. You wonder why the people with, who seem like they have the least, they're like the happiest. It's because Peace and happiness cannot be bought. It shouldn't even be sought after. You have to feel that deep within you. You have to know that it's deep within you. As long as we have breath in our bodies and blood pumping through our veins, we are alive, we are here. We are here to make a difference, to keep striving and growing and going in our own lives for ourselves, for our families. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I'm here to build an empire. You know, um, you should definitely be thinking the same, not necessarily anything to do with your name, but your name is attached to it. But your soul, your spirit, that is what's going to feed it. That's what's going to keep it going. So um, evolve that. Teach. Education helps us evolve, um, learning new things testing ourselves, facing ourselves, allow us to evolve. Doing that shadow work. <laughs> shadow work is so messy, but you have to integrate the side of you that not many people get to see with the side of you that people get to see. It's like, find that middle balance. That yin and that yang. Because you could be nice and passive or you can be super aggressive or you can find a way to allow them to coexist with one another you can um, be super lazy or you can be an overworker you still need to find a way to balance your life out balance is everything to that <clears throat> allows a circle to be a circle to come 360 
that balance. 180 is just half the weight, that other half. Take deep breaths, stretch, 